Oh god, we're getting triple killed. Boom! Or triple shot at. Kill him, kill him! Yeah, nerd. Hey guys, what is going on? We are trying out one of my favorite builds of all time, the Spectre Turan. Is this build still relevant at all in Champion League? We're gonna try it out. So first we're gonna try out the thermonuclear reactor, then maybe some clips later of the overdrive build, which is very hard to use. So this build used to be so great, especially in free for all, because you know, you could jump around and the trans do so much damage so fast, or they used to anyways, I'm not sure about now. And you know, they were super direct and accurate compared to the Orkins, which had a splash damage, a longer reload, and you know, they just weren't as accurate. As well as a bit longer re or a longer range than the Orkins. So let's see if we can deal some damage here. Can we chip on that guy? So this is three thermonuclear reactors, um, pilot skills, boosters, phase shift. I'm not sure what kind of robot that is, but boom. All right, we chewed him up pretty good. We chewed him up. And the Terrans did get nerfed a while ago with the Orkins, and since then they really haven't made a comeback in the game like you don't see a lot of players in champion league anyways running the Terrans. Ooh, we just took a lot of damage i think that's from like a hades or something okay um and full disclosure i'm playing with a band-aid on my finger and it is extremely annoying kind of gets in the way. Ooh, here's the leech. The leech is like the arch nemesis of the specter. Boom, double kill. All right, there we go. Because of course the leech is four medium, specter is four mediums. The leech is like, you know, probably a better version of the specter. Um, but the specter is the OG. Man, is the specter considered old school now? I don't even know, man. Oh, we definitely could have taken that guy out. Our jump was a little bit to the side. Uh-oh. What the heck? This old man has shock train on his Ravana. Who runs shock train on a Ravana? This guy must be a little bit crazy. Look who oh my god. Okay. Luckily I got that kill, but did you see how stupid that was? There were three enemies in front of me, and I locked on. T I was hitting the lock on button to cycle my target finder or whatever, and the scorpion was the closest one, and it went to him last. Like, jeez, how is this still a problem in 2021? Like, rampage. That's pretty good, but Pixar's gotta get it together with the target thing. That's been a problem for years. It used to be even worse, but I mean, like, jeez, come on. Come on. Okay, we had 97,000 HP. We can't take a lot of damage. The Spectre's always been like that, where you can't take a lot of damage, but these days, you know, weapons are even stronger. So, you can only sit in, like, the pocket and shoot guys for very, for a very, very short period of time. Okay, we're fully loaded. Our ability is about to come back. And I used the phase shift and not the healing module just to try to give myself another life. Boom. All right. Another kill. Another kill. We're doing not bad right now. Consider we don't have a last stand either. Ooh. And remember, our Spectre pilot. Oh. Oh, this guy's going to end us. Oh, darn you, Scorpion. You, you smelly nougat. Nougat. Okay, but the good news is there is no good news. We did get some kills with that Spectre. Okay, let's help out my teammate here. We have our Magnetar Pursuer. A bit of a weird build, to be honest. Because the Pursuer 
is supposed to, you know, you're supposed to kind of get close with the pursuer. That's why it's called the pursuer. You pursue enemies. But, you know, whatever. Come on, cook this leech. Send him to the gulag. Okay, we didn't send him. Somebody else did. And yeah, we did have the legendary pilot on that specter. So when we jump, we have a temporary increase in damage. So that was kind of the specter legendary pilot. What's that one called again? The tall, tall mockery. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Boom, lockdown. And we might be able to get this beacon. Oh my god, I hope my team's not mecking out already. Jeez, we got th there's no way we got three players left. That must be a joke. So we do 7.5% more damage while the specter is in the air. That's so crap. What? 7.5% damage? If you use the Adrian Chong pilot, don't you get 5% on all your weapons? For that, like, it's 2.5% more than the Adrian Chong build, but you only get it in the air or when you jump. Seems a little bit dumb, but whatever. Okay, we, another player did drop in, so now it's like 4v6, which still isn't great. Man, just a FYI, if you're mecking out before the 5 minute mark on a game, you must be tanking. Like, there's no way you can just run through six robots including your titan in four or five minutes and just not be incompetent like come on get it together we're in a war okay i'm trying to hold down this beacon maybe someone can save me a little bit here someone please save me okay killed that one guy oh god now i'm gonna stop an owl ming Two people are shooting at me. Oh man, there's two Almings. Okay, let's drop our Arthur real quick. We'll get our shotgun Arthur. Hit him, kill him. Oh god, we're getting triple killed. Boom! Or triple shot at. Kill him, kill him. Yeah, nerd. Nerds. Kill him. Boom. Okay, but there was a cost to that. We did take some heavy damage. And I'm just trying to run forward and block the guys on my side right now with my shields, but it's not going to work. Oh, man. What are the chances we make this comeback? Ah, uh, it's so much... Comebacks are one thing, but when your teammate is... Teammate... Not teammates. When your team is mecking out, two, like it's 2v5. So there's not really any way we can make this comeback. Now it's 1v5, 2v5 again. Um, I mean, our Roshi, we, we're keeping it in the bag to run beacons at the end, but it looks like we're not really going to get a chance here because this, this smelly, ugly hawk is shooting at us. Oh, yes, we still killed him. And that's probably going to wrap it up. Ravana too. Oh man. I feel like we're having a pretty good game there with the Spectre. Then all these elves came out of nowhere and killed us. 3.6 million damage, five beacons. Not bad, not bad. Oh jeez, the guy on the other team had a five million damage. Yikes, he probably backed out my team pretty early. So this is the overdrive Spectre. So this one is obviously a lot more powerful because you get that 75% boost. But as usual, the Spectre is so delicate. Like, look, full health right now with boosters and pilot skills, we got 159,000 HP. That's nothing. If we get caught by, like, sonic weapons up close, we're dead in seconds. So getting the overdrive triggered but not losing weapons and dying is a very difficult thing to balance on this robot. And that's why, I mean, there's better builds than the Spectre Tran, which is kind of a spoiler alert. Um, but if you're going to run the Spectre Tran, run either the Thermonuclear Reactor build or two Thermonukes and a Last Stand because this build is super difficult to use. It's fun if you can get those that overdrive triggered, but it's probably not worth it. Man, our on free-for-all 
I remember when the Spectres were like dominating the game when players were running three, four Spectres. The Tarans, Spectre Tarans was so good at just picking off other Spectres and, you know, other jumping, flying robots in the game. That was until, of course, the Spectre got nerfed big time, and then the Tarans got nerfed, and the Orkins. I really wish they brought the Orkins back. That's one thing. It's so sad. The Orkins were a classic. I thought they were the coolest thing ever, and now they're gonzo. Now their damage is pretty terrible, and they have a super long reload time. Boom. Kill again. Our overdrive isn't even triggered yet. Like, how am I supposed to take... I gotta take, like, 15,000 damage, but not die. Oh, man. See, we just took damage, but we're gonna heal up now. It's probably not a great idea to run a healing pilot skill when you're trying to get your overdrive triggered. But... It's also helpful to stay alive. And you see, this is kind of the way you're supposed to play these. I mean, 350 meter range is pretty... Like, it's considered a middle range weapon. I wouldn't call it a close range. The sonic weapons are close range at 200 sub meters these days. But, you know, if we can stick 300... Uh-oh, got suppressed. Okay, we definitely have our overdrive trigger now. Run! Spider! But yeah, if you can stay at that 350 meter range, you're probably going to have the most success. Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, alright. Okay, so now we're obviously on power plant. And this that was a Typhon that was really annoying me. And he suppressed me, but I still got the jump off. And I was just trying to take enough damage to get my overdrive trigger. Didn't really work out. But we got the kill anyways. Man, even the sound of the Turan pulse brings back good memories. So you can see here, my overdrive got triggered, and then this shell bot was chasing me down. Kind of didn't work out for either one of us. And this was like a butch shooting for Zeus, guys. But that is going to wrap up the video. The Spectre Trans, one of my favorite builds of all time. Is it worth running? Eh, hard to say. I'm probably going to say no. I want to say yes, but probably not. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next video.